This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create these 3D looking illuminated buttons using Procreate for the iPad. So I'll go ahead and get started here in Procreate. The first thing you want to do is download the texture image that's used as the background. I'll have a link in the description of the video. So just go ahead and open that image. I'm going to hold a tap over the image like that, and I'm going to go to Copy Image, and then I'll come back over here to Procreate and I'll tap the plus icon in the top right corner and select clipboard and that will create a new document based on the clipboard here. So the first thing we want to do now is create a new layer. So let's come over here to the layers menu. I'm going to tap the plus icon right here to add a new layer and I'm going to fill that layer with white. So let me change my color up here. Let me change this to white and let me just take this little white disc and just tap and drag that onto the canvas like that. Now what I want to do is grab the select tool and I want to make sure I have snapping enabled down here in the lower left corner. Let's tap on that where it says snapping right here. Make sure you have that enabled as such. Go ahead and close out of that. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to move this down halfway through the page vertically like that. And then I'll come over here to the top left corner where we have the effects menu or the adjustments rather. And I'm going to choose Gaussian blur and I'm going to blur the entire layer. And then I'm going to tap on the left side of the screen and then drag to the right across the right side of the screen like that until we end up with a blur. Maybe maybe right about there looks pretty good, about 33%. And now what we can do is we can tap on the adjustments icon again to deselect that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a circle selection from this. So let's grab the selection tool up here. I'm going to choose ellipse. Make sure you have add selected. And I'm just going to come over here to the top left corner of the image and just tap and drag to create a circle. And then using my other hand, my other finger, I'm going to hold a tap on the canvas like that so that it forces it to be a perfectly round circle like that. And now what I could do is I could create an invert from this selection, click the invert button right there, and then come up here to the little wrench icon and go to cut. And that will create a little circle like that out of our white gradient. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this select tool. I'm going to scale this down. This is going to make for the um, the base of the button. I'm going to move this towards the center of the screen with, with snapping enabled. It should snap vertically and horizontally like that. Uh, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see this better. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer on top of this. So let's open up the layers menu. Let's tap the plus icon. Close out of the layers menu. I want to fill this layer with black. So let's open up this menu. Let's choose black as our color and then tap and drag this circle onto the canvas to fill that with black. And now I'm going to create another layer on top of that. So let's come back over here to the layers menu, tap the plus icon again, close out of that. And for this one, I'm going to use a shade of dark gray, maybe right about, maybe right about there looks good. And then I'll fill that into this layer as well. And now I'll grab the select tool, take this layer and move it halfway down like that as we did previously with the white layer and then grab the uh, adjustments menu. We're gonna apply a Gaussian blur here, apply it to the whole layer, and then again, tap on the left side of the screen and drag or swipe right across your screen to add a blur like that. And right about there, that's what we're going for. That's a good look. And now I can go ahead and tap on this to deselect that. So now what I want to do is merge those two layers together, the black layer and the gray layer we just created. So let's tap on the layers menu. Let's tap on layer four and go down to merge down. And that's going to combine those two layers together to make that gradient. And we can close out of that. Let's grab the selection tool up here. Let's create another ellipse selection starting at the top left corner of the screen. Tap and drag like that. Again, use your other hand, use your finger from your other hand to tap on the canvas to force it to create a perfectly round circle like that. Let go, tap the invert button, and then go to the wrench icon, the actions menu, and tap on cut. And now I'm gonna take the select tool, and I'm gonna scale this down, put this towards the center of the page. I wanna make this slightly smaller than the white circle we just created. Let me put this in the center right about here. There we go, looking pretty good. Maybe a little smaller than that, a hair smaller. There we go, looking pretty good. Now let's tap the select tool to deselect that. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make that white circle a little more transparent because it's a little too, 
it, it sticks out a little too much there. So let's tap on the layers menu. Uh, what I'm going to do is where it says layer two right here where that white circle is, I want to adjust the opacity of that layer. In order to do that, you're going to have to tap on that layer with two fingers. So go ahead and tap on layer two with two fingers and you, you should be able to change the opacity of it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to swipe left across the screen to bring down the opacity about that much right there. And I'd say that looks pretty good. And then I'll tap on the uh, adjustments icon up there to deselect that. So let's come back up here to the layers menu. Let's create a duplicate of layer three up here. Let's slide this to the left a little bit and then tap the button that says duplicate. Close out of the layers menu. I'm going to grab the select tool up here. I'm going to flip this vertically where it says uh, down here at the bottom of the screen, it says flip vertical, tap on that. And then we're just gonna scale this down as well. We're gonna make this a little smaller. Put this in the center of the page like that. Maybe a little, actually, no, that's good as it is. Now what I'm gonna do is let's come back up here to the layers menu. I'm gonna create a duplicate of layer two right here, this white circle. So let's slide that to the left, tap duplicate, and let's move that to the top of the order here. So let's hold a tap over that and then just tap and drag this to the top of the order like that. Close out of that, open the select tool, flip vertically like that, and then just scale this down so that it's a little smaller than the circle in the middle there, maybe a little smaller than that. Snap it to the center like that. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take a duplicate of the circle beneath it. So let's go back to the layers menu. Let's make a duplicate of layer three right here. Let's slide this to the left. Let's tap on duplicate and then move this to the top of the order. I'm gonna hold a tap over this and then just move this to the top of the list here and close out of the layers menu. Grab the select tool and then scale this down to make this slightly smaller than the white circle we just duplicated right there. Let me zoom in on this a little bit so I can see this better. Maybe make this a little smaller. Let me see how that looks. Zoom out. Okay, now what I wanna do is just flip that vertically. So I'm gonna tap the button right here that says flip vertical. And there we go, that's the effect I'm going for right there. So let's tap on the select tool to deselect that. As you can see, it's starting to come together here. We have the appearance of a button. What we wanna do is place a little bit of a shadow beneath the, uh, the inner circle here. So what I'm gonna do is, let me come back over here to the gallery. I'm gonna open this up. Now, if you notice over here in my example, I have the button glowing with the color blue. What I'm going to do for this demonstration, I'm just going to use this same shade for this demonstration. If you want to make your button glow a different color, then go ahead and use a different color than what I'm about to use here. So let me come back over here to my canvas that I'm working on. I'm going to set my color to whatever color I'd like the button to be glowing. So I'm going to use green or maybe even like a greenish blue. Like I said, you can use whatever color you want. I noticed like yellows and pinks work really well for this as well. Let me close out of that. Let me create a new layer on top of all these other layers. Tap that plus icon right there. And let's create a new ellipse. So I'm going to grab the um, selection tool. Make sure you have ellipse selected. And then just tap and drag to create an ellipse going over the center like this. And again, hold a tap with your other finger from your other hand to uh, ensure that it's a perfectly round circle like that. I'm going to make this slightly bigger than the than the button in the middle of the screen there, as you can see what I'm doing here. And then I'll just take this and just tap and drag this into the selection like that. Tap on the selection tool to deselect it and then take this, the selection tool, or the, uh, yeah, the move tool and just move this towards the center of the canvas like that. Now I just wanna lower this beneath the other objects. So let me grab the, um, the layers menu. I'm gonna hold a tap over layer seven and then just move this down beneath, I think layer three. There we go, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Now what I can do is close out of that, grab the, um, the adjustments tool up here in the top left. I'm going to choose Gaussian blur, apply it to the layer, and I'm just gonna apply a blur here to make this look like it's glowing behind the button like that. And that right there looks pretty good, but the circle is a little too big, so I'm gonna scale that down a little bit. Let me deselect that, grab the selection tool again. I'm just gonna scale that down a little bit so it doesn't stick out from the button too much. And then just make sure I have that centered up. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can get a better placement here. It can be a little tricky to make sure that this is centered up vertically and horizontally sometimes with the snapping in the way. There we go. Once you get that cross across the screen like that, that's how you know it's centered. So there we go, the button is done now. We're just gonna place something over the uh, center here. You could place whatever you want here, like a logo or an icon. I just, for this demonstration, I used a letter. So let me select the top layer over here. 
close out of that. I'm just going to create a random letter. Let me come over here to the wrench tool. I'm going to tap on add text and I'm just going to use a capital letter H for this. No special meaning or anything like that. Let me double tap on this to select it. And uh, I want to make this a little bigger. So let me tap on the, the font information up here and I'll get this whole menu and I can change this size. There we go. Let's grab the select tool. I'm going to rasterize this. I'm going to tap on the layer, tap on the layers menu, tap on the layer to get this menu. And I'm going to tap on rasterize right there. And there we go. That's no longer a text item. So let me close out of that, grab the select tool. And now I can easily place this in the center of the canvas like that. And if you deselect it, as you can see, you have a nice glowing little 3D like button, as you can see here. Now in my original preview over here, you can see I have the glowing button and then I have the turned off button, the turned on and the turned off. Let me show you how to make the turned off variety of this button, which is actually pretty easy. This should only take you a second. What you can do is let's come over here to the layers menu. Let's come over here, layer seven, where the colored circle is close out of that. I want to come up here to where it says adjustments and I'm going to select hue, saturation and brightness. Choose the layer, bring the saturation all the way down, bring the brightness all the way down. And there you go. And we can do the same thing with the letter H up here. Let's tap on the layer menu, choose the letter H back to the adjustments menu, hue, saturation, brightness, apply to the whole layer, bring the saturation down, bring the brightness down, maybe not all the way down, but down a lot like that. There we go. And what you have there is the appearance as if the button is turned off. So I think that should do it for this tutorial. That's how you can go about creating those uh, 3D illuminated on and off buttons using Procreate. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.